Hello there. Thank you for joining this seminar. And uh, well, it's kind of a short course on educating people on what uh, um, M architecture and um, M class of CPUs are. And we'll kind of do a little bit of deep diving in terms of making ourselves familiar with what this processor is and why one should you know care to learn about it. So first off, uh, let's talk about ARM um, the company. So ARM um, as a company uh, kind of just makes uh, architecture, right? They they do not make um, or manufacture CPUs of their own. They do not you know send over the RTL to the fabs to get uh, the CPU manufactured. Like here and there, they can get a test chip out. That's another story. But their exact business it is not creating chips and selling it, but uh, to kind of sell the architecture, right? An architecture essentially is, is kind of, uh, you know, specification of what a CPU should do, how it should behave, what it should do, and so on and so forth. Um, and there are other companies, other semiconductor companies like NXP, DI, uh, you know, STM. Um, those are the, the companies which take the architecture, implement it on their own, and then kind of then go to uh, the fabs and get the chips manufactured, right? And by chips, I mean the CPUs and the control controllers manufactured, right? All right, so this company um, uh, makes architecture and they are of, uh, you know, three kind of processors. One is called the ARM um, A, which is for the A class of CPUs. We'll talk about this in a while. And then there is the R class CPUs and then there is the M class CPUs. So today what we are going to study corresponds to the M class of CPUs and why we chose this CPU over others, uh, that becomes evident in a while. But M class of CPUs is what we will focus on. All right, so what is A, R and M then? So A is the application, application grade processor and this is the processor that's capable of, uh, or this is the architecture for a processor that's capable of running operating systems like Linux. Uh, in case of, uh, you know, um, uh, Apple, it also runs Mac OS. And then there are efforts for running uh, Windows on ARM as well. Uh, right, Windows for ARM. So the M1, M2, M3 line of processors or SOCs from Apple, they are based on the ARM A class of CPUs, right? So the, uh, well, the application class, essentially you can imagine that it can run an operating system and run applications like Chrome browser, you know, Photoshop, Microsoft Word, so on and so forth, right? It's, it's built or targeted towards that. The R class of CPUs is used for something called uh, real-time systems, right? So the this architecture is kind of specifically targeted towards applications that require determinism and uh, or deterministic behavior. And one of the uh, one of such things is the engine engine control uh, and you know management management controller so that would be like an r class cpu anywhere the latencies have to be deterministic the cpu has to respond in you know definite amount of time um, or within a definite amount of time window that's where the r class cpus are used and the m class of cpus are for micro controller uh, based applications right so what are micro, uh, microcontroller based applications? You know, the, the windows of the car going up and down, the, uh, like, um, like a toaster, um, remote control. Um, then you have uh, your headlight control system. So those kind of things, the M class CPU is used at. And, you know, I couldn't list as many, uh, but these are like scattered around like salt, uh, or salt or sand. These are like that common. So to give you more examples you know the wi-fi would have these at some point in you know, the audio system subsystem has it the bluetooth controller has it your watch would have all of these uh, power management subsystems have this typically anything that has like a single uh, you know single targeted application uh, like a tiny application like microwave oven for example you know select one of the options from the menu 
start the timer after a while you know the meal is cooked and the machine needs to stop so that kind of a thing uh, is kind of better built on the m class cpus right and that's why we have targeted the m class cpus because these would kind of uh, you know make you an embedded software engineer um, capable of contributing on a team way faster than the other would and the architecture is also you know simple to understand it's straightforward uh, there are certain things that a software engineer, embedded software engineer should know. And uh, it's easy to kind of nail those down in M-Class CPUs. So hopefully in this video, you understood what ARM as a company is. They just make architecture and then they have three types of architecture that concern to, well, that you should or, you know, the general embedded system engineer should know about the A-Class, R-Class and the M-Class. The M-Class is what we focus on. And in the next video, let's talk about, you know, again, more about uh, the micro architecture and architecture, right, as uh, it corresponds to the M-class CPUs.